after this match, Dunfermline manager Jimmy Calderwood said it was one of his side's poorest performances of the season. Well, you'd never have known it from the way they started the game. It's no surprise to see a Dunfermline side having a go at the opposition. It is a surprise to see Craig Brewster wasting a header. Strike partner Stevie Crawford with the setup, and Brewster for once off target. But it wasn't long before Dunfermline put themselves in the lead with a goal which was very well made and taken. Barry Nicholson's pass was just about perfect, as was Darren Young's shot. Nine minutes played, 1-0 Dunfermline. And this angle shows the precision with which Thistle were undone. And that's Darren Young's first lead goal for the Pars. After that, Thistle settled down and had by far the better of the play. Jamie Mitchell set up their first real chance for Andy Thompson. And it was well saved. Good goalkeeping by Derek Stilley here. And it wouldn't be his last important save. As the shots rained in on his goal, Stilly did his best to keep them out. Until Thistle were handed a terrific chance finally to put one past him, and Greg Shields got caught up with Stefan Bonn. Dunfermline just couldn't get the ball away, and when Jamie Mitchell couldn't take advantage, Bonn was prevented from doing so illegally. Jamie Mitchell's kick was firmly struck, but Stilly didn't flinch. The Dunfermline keeper was later chosen as man of the match, and Mitchell couldn't really argue. Dunfermline could have made their afternoon a lot more comfortable only moments later. Stevie Crawford certainly felt he should have scored. It was the old Brewster Crawford combination at work once again. Usually, the ball ends up in the net. But this miss didn't prove costly. <laughs> 